welcome to my channel if you are new here please subscribe i know i don't have to tell you it's up to you if you want to subscribe but you know i'm just doing the quintessential youtuber script <laughs> all right so my video today is on how i've managed to maintain my weight over the years now everybody's body is different so disclaimer everybody's body is different everybody's lifestyle is different there are lots of factors that affect weight management as well as just your general fitness and physical health so whatever i share here it may be subjective however if you are interested you know there is something that there's something that you could learn from my journey or my experience or probably out of curiosity you just want to know what worked for me how i've managed to as i said maintain the figure that i have as well as just um i'm just giving you some backstory and um just letting you in on uh my secrets <laughs> i'm kidding i have no secrets um i have no problem sharing things because i haven't done anything out of the norm to maintain my weight or to lose weight or whatever it is i haven't done any of that everything i've done it's natural some of the things i haven't really thought about it growing up i wasn't all that focused on my weight was i probably not consciously i have been i've always been relatively slim growing up i am not certain if it has to do with the genetics i doubt it it doesn't have to do with the genetics i do not think that while there might be certain genetic factors in some persons it's not entirely about genetics so that's one of the myths that i've been told by my family they're like oh, oh you're going to be fat by this age by x age or if you don't do this you're going to look like this person because this person in your family um looks like this or blah 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 it's all lifestyle lifestyle and diet dieting is a part of lifestyle and um yes persons scared me with those um myths in my childhood and i've grown to prove that it's not because anything wrong in the family say fat running family or anything like that it's mostly what i've observed based on observation i've noticed that it was mostly based on the lifestyle practices of the members of my family so i for one, for example, I have been pretty athletic growing up. Yes, my mom was, was athletic, but to what age? Um, feel me? So, um, one of the things about me is that, yeah, I didn't really do much per se to maintain my weight or probably everything that I've done my entire lifestyle was just a part of how I maintain my weight. So it's not something that I was doing consciously until now since my metabolism naturally has slowed down i have to work more than ever consciously to maintain my weight but before as a child as a teenager um i didn't have any serious like hormonal issue or anything like that that would let me not put on weight exponentially or anything of that sort and i was pretty athletic to my understanding i did netball in primary school in high school i did track and field i also did like in sixth form i did cheerleading oh here and there like for sports day i did that uh, in university i did more <laughs> um, a lot of inter-faculty events i did football <laughs> female football i did cheerleading I did track and field as well for sports day not for my college 
I joined dancing. I did that for a couple of years. I and then in the latter part, I did swimming. Even though while I was doing swimming, I gained some weight. Well, gained muscle plus. It was around that period, as I've shared in a previous video, that I had a pretty sedentary lifestyle when I was, was working. At a call center in 2018 it was around that time that i started swimming so yes uh, um with along with the fat the body fat, the fat that i put on i put on muscle as well so i was pretty big not big 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 but in comparison to what i'm used to and what is there now all right so i did swimming and i did in a lot of parts i did basketball and you know, I don't want to share it, even I've always been curious about, about basketball and persons have always, growing up person, because of my height, persons have always told me that, oh, you should play basketball or ask me, oh, do you play basketball? But, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was just curious about it and wanted to try it. So I, and I always thought that basketball is a cool sport and I also did my internship um, at with a basketball company. But one of the underlying goals that I had was to actually lose weight because I had all that resort blogging thing that I told you about in the previous video. Go check it out. Um, I had gained some weight because I was experimenting with food and I was eating a lot of food all over Jamaica at whatever hour of the day that I wanted to. And I saw myself steadily moving from in the 130s to the 140s to the 150s to the 160s yeah uh, i don't think i've um gone above 170 pounds yeah but i've moved that in two years i've moved from one the 130s to the 160s <laughs> I've been pretending like I'm a food critique. Uh, um, so now we're going to critique the the, des the dessert. This almost not not <laughs> jello. It is a whole meal. I'm not gonna eat with that a whole meal. <laughs> he, he's the type of person who doesn't eat much. You see, it, it shows in his physical appearance. And then me, what's that two plates? Two plates. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to lose all that weight. And trust me, it has been the hardest because during that short period, I was taking in a lot of calories and I wasn't losing but the calories. And that's why I um, gained a lot of weight. I was pretty inactive physically and I was just eating, eating, eating. Um, experimenting with food and all of that even now um right now at this point in time it has it's all that weight that i've gained i haven't lost it back at any time like completely yes um i've lost a couple and i'm still on that journey that i'm sharing with you but i haven't lost it back completely to go back to how i was and in those periods as well, I assume that my metabolism slowed down as well because I wasn't as active as my body was used to. Um, yes, and around that period as well, I stopped dancing. Yes, dancing was one of that, those, those things that kept my metabolism flowing. Um, I had a hamstring injury and I wasn't stretching it. I was afraid that... Oh, the injury would have gotten worse so I wasn't stretching and then I got a lot of nerve pain and it was terrible um but some other time I might share that journey and how I overcame that because I was in a lot of pain and then endometriosis endoflares oh my gosh 2021 2022 I was in a lot of pain and losing weight as well as exercise those helped me a lot and the dieting as well that i will share in other videos but let's get back to what we are discussing now how i've maintained my weight over the years another reason is that growing up i have been picky i have always been a picky eater <laughs> i remember 
when I was a child going to school my mom gave me breakfast I put it under the bed and when she's cleaned the house she'd see it spoiled because it has been there for a couple of days and she's like oh you didn't eat this and I throw in the tea and yeah, I was very picky and even as a teenager teenager I was picky I didn't eat in large quantities the period where I started experimenting with food, the resort blogging, that's the period where I've eaten the most. Yeah, but no, even now I, I cannot, I cannot eat in large quantities anymore, no matter how hard I try. Yeah. The next reason is that, oh, as I said, I did dancing. So even though during the period that I was doing dancing, I wasn't really doing much sport well dancing is considered a sport but i wasn't doing much mainstream sports so the track and field the basketball the football i wasn't doing much of that so i was focusing on dancing so that helped me in adulthood after i reached 20 to you know just keep me active and yeah another reason is that it's something from i was a child it wasn't conscious or it wasn't a, a motivation per se to maintain my weight because I didn't have to do much per se when I was growing up to maintain my weight until now but I've always been interested in modeling from when I was young I used to model as a teenager I did pageants growing up even as an adult I did pageant so pageantry has been one of those things that had propelled me to maintain my weight. I did a series of pageants between 2020, 2013 to 2020. Yeah, I did pageants. So I had to, you know, in the world of pageant, pageantry, you have to maintain a certain weight. So those are some of the reasons in which I maintained my weight over the years. I'm not saying that these will work for you. As I said, most of these things, they were not conscious. I didn't make a conscious effort to say, oh, I'm going to do sport because I don't want to get fat. No, when I was younger, I wasn't thinking about weight that much until now, after I've gained a lot of weight in recent times. So I am not saying that you should go and try these. However, these tips may work for you. You find that when you do sport, you do not when you do a sport you do not think much about the physical effects and the burden and all of that of doing the sport um that in comparison to when you are at the gym working out so it, it's always going to be easier for you to do a sport and lose weight in comparison to going to the gym because the sport to, for me doing the sport is more fun and has more purpose or object the objective is different than say going to the gym going to the gym you're probably going with the sole objective of losing weight or gaining muscle but when you're doing a sport you're not really focusing on the weight loss it's just something that comes with it you're focused on the sport you're fo focusing on competition you're focusing on having fun and while focusing on that in the process you uh, lose the weight so if you're around my age if you're going to university or if you're in high school try a sport to join a sport and it doesn't matter your size I mean join a sport if you've always been athletic or even if you do not deem yourself as an athletic person I've never really deemed myself as an athletic person I've only taken off taken on the term athlete because I've done sport but I have poor motor skills yeah I've had poor motor skills growing up I suck at sport but I did it somehow so you don't have to be athletic or naturally athletic to do sport or to excel at it just try it 
dancing as i say you can try dancing and take up dancing as a hobby if you want to dance in your house do aerobics if you want to learn tiktok dances um that's one of the things that i've done in recent times that i'm going to share in another video the things that i've tried to lose weight and the things that worked for me so dancing is one of the things that you can do i'm not going to advise you to eat in small proportions as i said i was picky i didn't eat much i'm not saying that you should do that because it may not be healthy for you and it was not healthy um i was not malnourished but i don't know it worked for me it worked for me and i think now my body is used to it and i think it's a reason why if i eat too much i just put on weight because my body just wants to store whatever it can so that when it goes back into that state um, I decide to be picky you know it can survive you know the body works like that that's about it thank you so much for listening for watching my video I'm Amy if you find my channel rather educational or informative or entertaining or if you just like it you know you know what to do you subscribe uh, yeah thank you so much have a great day bye look out for my next video